just for, I don't know, tradition's sake, let's pretend that we live in a democracy and let's talk about things that might matter in a democracy. Um, so uh, polls show that uh, not only do people uh, support women's reproductive rights, they in fact do it more than ever before. Uh, there's broad support for abortion rights in Gallup polls. They show that Americans support for abortion in all or most cases was at 80% in May. I, I didn't even know you could find an issue that 80% of people support, but they do in this case. The share of Americans in Gallup's poll who say abortion is morally acceptable reached a record high of 47% in May, up from a low of 36% in 2009. And Quinnipiac poll found support for abortion being legal in all or most cases reached a near record high in September with 63% support. I say these things just because you might start to question with the fact that the right wing has gotten so many crazies on the Supreme Court. Wait, maybe I'm in the minority. No, no, people have been supportive of this for literally decades. They continue to be even more so. But we don't fundamentally live in a democracy, we just don't. And another way that, that manifests is we keep electing politicians who say that they support these things and then they don't really do it. And that comes in a variety of forms. Some might be, for instance, if you were to elect a Democratic president and an opening on the Supreme Court came up and then the Democrats didn't actually fight to fill it and instead you get a crazy like Alito in the spot, that might be frustrating. Or if you deliver the, the House in 2018 and then the White House and the Senate in 2020 to the Democrats. And then the conservatives still have this majority of the Supreme Court. And then the Democrats tweet this, I'm gonna jump ahead of the last graphic in this block. Elect Democrats to protect abortion rights. Okay, so uh, apparently the Senate Democrats, or at least the person managing their Twitter, has been in some sort of hibernation pod for the last year. <laughs> we did, <laughs> we did that. Now do it, uh, you have yeah. your you have the Senate, you have the House. There are things you can do, even if you've totally given up on the Supreme Court, which barely you have. Yeah. There are things you could do. You could codify it in law. You could put pressure on the senators that would be necessary to get rid of the filibuster so you could actually pass any of this because no legislation could actually pass without getting rid of it. You could do these things. What what is the money behind this, John? What is the money behind this anti-abortion push? Because everything in the no, it's a great question, and, I, and, and in this case, there is very much money behind it, but it's not directly behind it. It's not that billionaires desperately want to stop, you know, some woman in, you know, like Mississippi, yeah, Mississippi, from getting an abortion. It's they need this to motivate their side, because their side being motivated and turning out and winning elections and getting the, the, the Supreme Court delivers what they actually care about, which is purely economic um, issues. There was that Netflix documentary, was it called The Promise Keepers? What was it called? Where they had the conservative Christian, you know, like prayer that they sponsor uh, for, with every inauguration. Do you remember that? I'm not sure. I, I, it might be about the family. I'm not sure. The family, that's right. Yeah. And there's a lot yeah, of money behind that. And yeah. putting these, this is, we got to figure this out because that's what's happening. It really isn't about abortion. It's really about control, and it's about you know something else. Really, I, 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 we got to get to the bottom of it because I, you know, they don't care. Kavanaugh probably has had abortions. It's how you know Trump has. I mean, just something like we knew. We knew it was coming. We yeah, of course coming. we knew it was coming when they didn't let Obama put somebody on the Supreme Court. Yeah, yeah, and and look like. Anyway, we're gonna take our first break. There's other aspects on this. I'm sure we'll be talking about it more uh, tomorrow, but there is a lot of other stuff that we'll be talking about as well. We will be watching to see uh, what happens. That said, it is pretty clear what's developing. Can't wait to hear stuff about how in a couple years the Democrats will do something. You're in control right now. You can do things right now. There are things that Biden could have already done for women Absolutely. in Texas dealing with this new law. They're Absolutely. Just not new. They they desperately want power and then don't ever use it for anything. Not anything that benefits us. Yeah. Anyway. They're too busy trying to appease both sides. Yeah. Ugh. And who are who are they actually who supports this? For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.